Hello. Uh, this is a tutorial for the very basic installation of the stern root. Uh, actually, I just started the root very recently. I and I found it's not so easy to install it. It's some trick of it. So, um, so I would like to make a video tutorial for showing my my <laughs> experience or uh, helping people to install it first. So okay, so first of all, you see this is a brand new operating system Ubuntu 14.04 that I just installed. So in this short tutorial, we were talking about download and install and some basic tuning of it. So first of all, you need to go to the uh, Stern Root website here. You click it. All right. So you will see this uh, web page here. So then you click download. So I believe it will go to this one here. So there will be a lot of uh, version of the root here. So you will have option for root six or root five, and it depends on your um, your how can I say y y y what you want to do here. But mostly you can use the five point three four as I usually use here. Somehow mm, root 6 not well I don't know I haven't used it yet but for most of the work I use 5.34 so you click this one and you would go to this page and you can see here you can see a download link here alright so for, this is the uh, first step to download the stern root. Then we will go to how to compile it. So that's for short stuff. Okay, the download just finished. So let's go to the next step. Okay, so you can see your uh, download file in the uh, downloads directory. So in Ubuntu, you can open the terminal via the shortcut Control, Auto, and T. Then you can open the terminal here. Then change the directory or you can list it so you have download alright so you will see this file here the root version of 5.34 this is the tar file but you have uh, zipped so we can use the tar command to extract the file so here is the command here you have x to the extract and F to you can have the file name in the end here, and Z is, uh, means uh, to unzip. So and you can put a V here. This means the uh, verbal sum. Let's tell you to print up all the file name. So let's do it. So okay. So it will take a couple of minutes. So we will pause here. Alright, so it's finished. Let's go to the next step here. So you add to this old file, so now you can see the root uh, directory appear here. So it's already um, unzipped here. So you go to root directory and you will see a lot of files. By the way, you can put um, or extract the file to the directory you want. You don't need to put in the download directory here. So you can see there is a script here called the file configuration or configurate. Anyway, so here, so this is the uh, bash file or a script to check the library you need to compile the root file here. So uh, to run it, use um, dash slash means to, to executive it configured then you can use option O or you don't need to use option it's not necessary O means that in to check all of them so um, let's check it so you will stop here so you will check you some uh, information like uh, you, you there is uh, some file uh, you you don't have so you need to download that one. That that is kind of a <laughs> necessary thing you need to do here. So um, all right. So you run the command configurate, 
and you see there is some master here it tell you you miss this file here and must be installed so you have uh, it also show you a link here so you copy this link uh, the paste on your browser it will show you this web page here so because we are using the Ubuntu so you scroll down to find out the Ubuntu 14 here and it tell you you miss the DPKG architecture so it tell you this file here so in order to get that file you can use uh, sudo that means to change to the supervisor um, the root okay uh, so then you type in app gate get so installed then you type uh, dpkg dev here so you will say yes now it is installed it takes some time okay I think I will pause here okay it just finished the first library here so then you run the configure rate again and you will show you another library you must be installed at first so do the same thing you sudo app gate and this install the code is install that line goes to see here so it show you you need this one okay well you need a couple of time <laughs> to check all the file installed then if you if the configurate a uh, command tell you you are good then you can then you can go to the next step to make the compilation <laughs> unfortunately it takes some time okay I think I'll pause here mm. alright so after several times of uh, configurate O and sudo apt-get install some library here so I think I already finished it so once you type in configuration O so it will run through every library check so you will say uh, get the final uh, message here so if you see this message everything will find here so next one is to use the make function um, to make command here it will read this make file so because it would um, there will a lot of file need to compile so I recommend you use a, a two CPU to run it so it's very easy to type make file to, sorry to make command you will read this file here this is already there and we want to use two CPU so you have dash this option J is job 2 here so let's go for it alright so you run would be for a very very long time so from my experience it probably take um, one hour or two hour compilation here so I will stop here for a moment and wait until it finish okay probably at 30 minutes the compilation is down here so you can see the message here it asks you to run this command here so let's check it so you have a bin directory actually there is a this root uh, shell script here so he, this message asks you to run this command under the root directory not in the bin directory because the this shell script use different a uh, little bit different setup here so for run it you type a source then can type in this folder bin and this root the sh because we use a bash so it's a sh not a c 
a shell. So let's do it. Okay, so now we're supposed to run root. So you will see we successfully run the root. So it's, so it's down here. So basically, if you, you want to use root, you type root and you want to exist, you type dot q here. Okay, so if you open another terminal here, okay, so you you cannot type in root because you don't configure right where the root file is. So the way to solve this is to edit the bash file here. So the bash file, no, this your bash setup when you go into the terminal. So you can use the your editor text editor g edit to edit the, your home directory. There is a, a hidden file called the bash rc here. So go inside here. So you will see some file like this. And I would like to use just a second. Highlight with bash. Okay. So you can scroll down and add some uh, command here. Like every time you open the terminal, you will run source. Then you run the. Uh, home directory. Uh, if you don't know where it is, you can use pwd. You see, home directory, your ID, and download root. For example, here, home directory, my ID, then download or just copy it. It will be fine. Okay, pass. Then type in uh, bin uh, this. Okay, where 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 we are? Uh, this root. Just a second. Okay. Copy. Okay. So every time you open a new terminal. It's supposed to be fine. Now you can use the root directly. However, if you don't like the welcome uh, screen, like uh, there is a man there, you see, you can type root dash l, then you directly go into the command mode here. So to do this, um, I sometimes use Alice. Be good. Uh, let me see. So you type root, you go to root dash l. Okay. So that's supposed to be good. So now let's try another terminal. You see, there is no welcome screen here. So you can type uh, root here. So that's all the oh what I want to say here about the very basic very beginning of using a root. I hope it helps. Okay, see you next time.